besides besides that, you're also a magician, uh, musician as well. And magician, now. And magician now. Now that I said it. No, yeah, yeah. Ooh, so there goes another plaque. Hey. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Ming from Ming Fight Chan, and today we have a special, special, special guest today, sound engineer, Jordan Mitchell in the house. So, Jordan, introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Jordan Mitchell. I'm a, a recording engineer at Lounge Studios, man. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, yeah, for people that doesn't know what sound engineering engineering is, can you explain to them what, 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 what this job is about? Yeah, sure. So, typically, uh, an artist will come in, or, or a musician, um, and they'll lay down uh, tracks in the studio, and it's my job to make sure that um, they're recorded properly and, and sound right. And then I just record, and then I'll send it off to get mixed uh, uh, later. So yeah, that's kind of... So you just, I mean, there's more than just pressing yeah. the record button, and you make it sound so easy. <laughs> yeah, so um, a, lot of it, a lot of it, too, is uh, picking the right, like for uh, vocal takes and stuff like that, and kind of just making sure that the artist's energy is right. Uh, with the room and everything and, and making them feel as comfortable as uh, possible. Right. So now going back, you know, before the whole sound engineering, how do you get into like the sound engineering? You know, how do you get into this whole, you know? Got you. So I started uh, just playing music, playing piano and, and guitar and, and played in bands and stuff growing up. Um, and then we, we had uh, some of our friends recorded at studios and stuff like that. And we would, I would hear the difference in like the different, uh, audio recordings and that like that really intrigued me I was like why why you know why is it so much better at this place what are they using and so eventually I I saved up and got my a uh, bunch of recording gear and then just kind of DIY uh through high school and stuff and, and started really getting into it and started like uh, being obsessive about it so you just got curious and that's the way yeah, to go just curious. be curious curiosity man yeah I was just like why does you know why does this album sound so much better than our, our shitty records uh so yeah, and then just kind of, the more you kind of you start getting your feet wet, then you kind of get obs you know obsessive with it. Trial and error and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly, and it becomes addicting because you start getting better at stuff, and so once you start like having improvement, you know what I mean? It's like it starts to it, it's fun. And you weren't originally from New York, right? You were. No, somewhere. no, I grew up in I grew up in a small uh, farming town in Kansas, nice. so I'm a long long ways from the city. So how did you end up in New York then? So I uh, went to school for audio engineering and then uh, joined a band after college and lived in Philadelphia for a while. And when I was in Philly, I started interning at Lounge uh, Studios, and, uh, w which is where I'm at now, and um, get, got hired. And here I am. Yeah, tell us the story that, you know, how you were in Lounge Studios and how you got, you know, the slot open up and stuff for you. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, everybody, our whole staff here is just, like, incredibly hard workers. Um, so when I was interning... I was like so grateful to be here and, and you have like a certain, you have a minimum amount of hours that you have to do mm -hmm. um, here. But what I would do is I would sleep here on the weekends and just clean and just grind hard. And I, they saw that and, and recognized the work ethic. And then eventually, you know, when a slot opened up, I was lucky enough to, to get, the, get the gig. So guys, interning does help you. Yes, so. absolutely. <laughs> hard work. And, and hard work, of course, the grind, that's important. Mm -hmm. And then after leading, after leading, you know, in Slavon Studios, you met like a lot of dope artists, of course, you know, you work with a lot of cool people. Um, do you have any names that you, you enjoy working with? Like, you know, if there's any names that you want to shout them out? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, what, when I first started, like I was still like not very good. I recorded uh, Tidal Assign uh, when, right when I started and he was just amazing. There's like so many great people, man, that you just feel lucky to be around. Mm -hmm. Sir the Baptist, obviously, uh, he's, he's a homie and one of the most talented people I've got to work with. Aloe Black, I can't say any enough good things about him because he's like his talent is crazy, man. It's weird. It's 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 cool to be around it. Yeah. And then moving forward, um, recently you got the plaque, you know, for number one billboards. So how did that happen? Can you tell uh, us the story? Yeah, so that was uh, Aloe Black's uh, record. We did. Uh, it was. It's a song called "Wrote My Way Out." It was on the Hamilton mixtape with uh, Nas and Dave East, and. We actually recorded the record in like 30 minutes. It was just random like afternoon session, last minute. Atlantic needed to uh, to get in the studio and uh, we cut it and I didn't realize what it was gonna be. You know, sometimes that that's kind of how it happens and then uh, later obviously it, it ended up being on the album and, and Blue mixed the record here. Uh, shout out to Blue, the mixing engineer. And um, 
Yeah. So shout out to Blue. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Blue. Yeah. Sometimes you just do things and then you don't know. Like yeah, you, you don't know. know. Yeah, you just kind of do your job, man, and you're not really thinking about those kinds of stuff. Because sometimes you'll record with a big artist and you think maybe, oh, this is definitely going to be on. You may do several songs, mm-hmm. and none of those songs end up on an album. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's 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 like it varies. So you gotta stay focused as well. Yeah, stay focused. Yeah, because that you know that stuff will either come or it won't. So just do your job, and then yeah, you can't control any of that. Besides, besides that, you're also a magician, uh, musician as well. And magician, now. <laughs> magician now. Now that I said it. No, yeah, yeah. Who, so Dick was another plaque. Hey, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So uh, um, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of how I got into engineering. Was yeah. was uh. Uh, just wanting to get my my stuff to sound better, right. and then you know just started diving into that more. So, <laughs> <laughs> and you say you play the guitar and stuff, right? Uh, yeah, I play the guitar and piano, and I pretend to play the drums. I can play the drums like not very well. Like I can play like one groove good that you'd be like, oh, he's he's all right, but it's not it's not good. And you sing a little bit too. Yeah, I sing a little bit. Mm-hmm. And you have something coming out like an EP coming out. So uh, EP coming out, yeah. Yeah. Um, it should be coming out. I don't know when, but the single is going to come out like in, uh, hopefully March. So pre- pretty soon. Cool. Can you play us something today with your guitar? Do you have your guitar today? I don't. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, can we play? Oh, you had to tune, you had to tune something. Well, we, I mean, we could, we could, we could get one or I could play a little snippet or something yeah, let's, on. Let's play something. Let's play something. Okay. Yeah. Let's play a snippet. A uh, little snippet of, of a record. Yeah. Let's do that. Baby, I know that you're hurting and you're stressed out But maybe we can roll up and work it out We ain't living like we supposed to But you're the only one that I'm getting close to And we got better days on the way So baby, know that I'll be around Cause I can hardly breathe when I'm without you And I know you can't sleep when you're alone There ain't no mountain that was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you. Yeah, so, yeah. P- where could people check you out? Uh, so, all the social media is uh, Jordan B. Mitchell for Instagram, uh, Twitter, and all that. Uh, you can book me if you're in New York City at uh, loungestudiosnyc.com. Uh, we're in Ivory here. You can book me uh, on the website. I work here seven days a week, so you can book me. In- yeah, you're here seven days a week. Every time I come in here, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, man. It's a grind, but I love it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, if you, I work with a lot of artists. So, for those artists that are, you know, um, you know, looking to record or looking needs a sound engineering to, you know, master your craft, come over here, come on down. You know, book Jordan. He's here. I I saw him work. He's like one of the fastest guys that I ever seen. I got. I'm so surprised at your work. I'm like every time you do your thing, I was like my eyes bulge out. It's like yo, I have to record this. Like really, it's like one, two, three with his fingers, and then boom, Thank it's you. done. So that was really good. Any final words before we? No, thank you so much for having me, man. I, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you for your time and stay tuned. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment below if, 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 if anything, and follow. And we're going to link um, your EP once it's out. I'm going to link, you know, I'm going to link it below okay. so you guys, you know, fo- uh, show your support. And yeah, just holler at Jordan if you guys need anything. So stay tuned and see you guys soon.